Homosexuality has always been the border cop on the gender divide. If somebody acted a little too masculine and it was a woman, they were accused of being a lesbian. If they were too effeminate and a man, they were made over into queer. And so what we find, therefore, is that a number of artists use gender division as one of the central thematics to talk about sexuality. But notably, instead of understanding gender as a given, these are artists who are interested in all the artifice of gender. We acknowledge this in everyday discourse, in everyday life. We say, for example, of a boy, be a man. And in so saying, we make clear that we actually understand the degree to that masculinity is actually something that's performed, not something that you are. But in these images, we can see all the traces, all the signs of the construction of gender. Kathy Opie, one of many women in the exhibition, uses the very clear artifice of mustaches and beards placed on the body. You can see the glue, you can see the tape to suggest the degree to which these figures play between genders. And notably, 20 years earlier, the artist Lucas Samaras in 1970-71 dons a wig and makeup and like looking in front of a mirror, images of himself as a woman, as a drag queen, not trying towards seamlessness, towards actually looking like a woman, but rather trying to make himself look like a man looking like a woman, acknowledging that gender is always an aspect of our wearing clothes, our acting out, our performance and construction. And notably, one of the most famous series in this regard concerns Andy Warhol's famous image of himself in drag by Christopher Makus. Warhol, in a series of photographs, donned a wig and makeup and posed as a woman. And tellingly, about 30 years later, the artist Deborah Cass dresses up as Andy Warhol dressed in drag. Now she dresses as Andy Warhol in drag. So a real woman dressing as a man, dressing as a woman, suggesting again the fluidity and interchangeability of gender. And of course, these artists are invested in putting pressure on the gender divide precisely because of its role in upholding a homophobic regime.